Another very interesting part for you uh, uh, during that time was uh, in Hands Across the Table, in which you played... Carol Lombard. Yeah, you played the whole by part. By and Fred McMurray at yeah. Paramount. Yeah. You, you played the whole picture in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it was a very light comedy role. Yeah, yeah. It was a nice one, nice experience. And Carol was a great girl, great girl, and great to work with. Uh, that wasn't her name. Her name was, I think, Jane Peters. Yeah. yeah. And she uh, got her name, it's interesting, was to me, uh, figured it out with numerology. Hmm. And it worked for her for a while. <laughs> How is uh, Mitchell Lison? He seems to be underrated, uh, overlooked these days. Meticulous director. He uh, had a great uh, artistic sense and a very <laughs> sensitive guy. Lovely to work with. Gee, I loved your part in, in The Wedding Night. You played crazy. Gary Cooper and Anna Stan. Yeah, yeah. You played Frederick, the jealous the jealous lover. The King Vito directed, yeah. Did he, did Vito, uh, did, did he really, did he discuss motivation like more than, than some of the others? Did he what? Did he discuss your motivation more than the others, maybe? Oh, maybe. Um, perhaps because, uh, Anna Sten had just come over, and uh, if you remember, she had a little accent and uh, was kind of all new to her. She demanded that the set be enclosed in uh, uh, backings so that only the working company, the people who had to be present, cast and crew, were inside this enclosure. Uh, which was really kind of silly in a way because uh, those who wanted to see poked a hole in the canvas <laughs> wall that surrounded her. But um, um, yes, he talked, and, and as I remember, he was a wonderful man, great director and a wonderful man, just died. Um, his discussion was to the entire cast rather than to one person. Uh, rather than, than talking to one person about the performance of his or her part, it was he'd, he'd talk the scene uh, over the, and with relation to the whole story. And uh, <clears throat> a delightful man. Gary Cooper, had, had they always said that he, when you watched him act on the set, you, you couldn't really tell what was going on. Then when you saw him on the screen, it was this marvelous thing, go, ha acting presence going on there. Yeah, yeah, that's what he had more than anything, a presence. Uh, he knew it, too. <clears throat> One time we were working together at uh, Warner Brothers on something. Oh, the uh, court martial of Billy Mitchell, I think it was. Anyway, we were walking back from the set one day, having finished work, <coughs> uh, to, the, to our dressing rooms, and uh, he said, uh, you know, this is a crazy thing that's happened to me. He said, I've been in the top 10 for the last 12 years or something. And he said, I don't know what I'm doing up there, but uh, <laughs> as long as they want to uh, photograph me and pay me, I'll do it. <laughs> but he was great. I loved uh, to watch Gary on the, on the screen. Um, this, this strong, uh, macho sort of uh, uh, strong, uh, personality uh, came out at you from the screen. And another lovely guy, too. 